I know we like to complain about the horrible footpath on the Gladesville Bridge, but Perth also has its share of bridges with paths that are long past their use-by date. This is the Fremantle Traffic Bridge. It opened in 1939, it's built out of timber, and it was originally expected to have a lifespan of 40 years at most. The main roads department over here is now exceptionally keen to demolish it entirely in the next year or two and replace it with a new bridge. One that should include a much wider shared path for cyclists and pedestrians. I found out this week that the existing shared path isn't part of the original bridge structure. It was apparently tacked on as an afterthought and is now in danger of falling off into the river. The path has been closed a number of times in recent months to allow maintenance crews to inspect the underside of the bridge. Whilst it's a lovely old bridge from a heritage perspective, it's a shocker to use most of the time due to the narrowness of the path. It's been suggested that the bridge could be closed to motorised vehicle traffic and turned into an active transport bridge instead. If that happened, the flimsy shared path could be removed and would just walk or cycle across what is currently the road section. It's very unlikely that will happen. On the bright side, it will enable the existing shared path to be extended south another kilometre or so, and that's a good thing. It's a real pity though that the Gladesville Bridge still has plenty of life left in it. That crossing desperately needs upgrading, but I don't see that being funded anytime soon.